planning to travel to Cuba anytime soon? There may be some things you may not be aware of since airlines in the U.S. began flying regularly to Cuba last year. We're joined today by Steve Marshall. He's the CEO of Cuba Ventures Corporation to talk a little bit about the do's and don'ts of traveling to Cuba. Good morning. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you very much. Boy, things have really changed uh, big time yes. here yes. Uh, is since last year. It's an exciting time for travel. What do Americans need to know if they're going to Cuba? Well, a couple of things. One is that um, um, American credit cards and debit cards do not work in Cuba. Oh, is that okay. right? Okay. The second thing is um, we don't recommend people driving Cuba. Mm -hmm. Cuba has these quirky laws that if you get into a, a minor fender bender, um, you may end up having to stay there until it's resolved. Okay. Plenty of um, taxis and things exactly, like that? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So, you, you know, you'd be better choosing one of the uh, old American cars, for example, mm -hmm. as a taxi. I mean, that's the... Uh, that's what most people are looking for, and also um, there are plenty of, uh, of modern taxis too. Okay, what about cash? You say no credit cards, etc. When it comes to mm -hmm. currency exchange, and then mm -hmm. what do you use when you're there? Is the well, American you, dollar good? Exactly. You take you take U.S. dollars. You can change the U.S. dollars at any um, exchange bureau in the city or in the airports, and it's one to one. Oh, man, that's excellent. Now, yeah. What can you bring back with you? Any any restrictions? Well, recently uh, President Obama. Um, Cancelled the limitation of uh, cigars and rum, so hmm. essentially, um, if you if as you like you cigar, can carry? exactly as much really? as you can carry. Yeah, yeah. All right. It used to be limited to a hundred bucks, and yeah. now it's as much as you can carry. Things like cigars and say the Cuban rum are, mm. are those inexpensive there, and you can buy a bunch of it and bring it back. Yes, it's uh, very inexpensive, and you get, um, you know, for example, Havana Club. You can get the Cohiba cigars. Um, you can get get. You know most of the, oh, the Cuban, but also the souvenirs are very popular right, too. Right. Cuban sou souvenirs are made by artisans. So. All right. Uh, any specific vaccinations that you need to be aware no. of before you no, go? No, I mean it's 90 miles from Key West. Okay. Is, yeah. Is, what about Zika? Was that a concern there by any chance? It was a concern, but um, there hasn't, there haven't been any cases, okay. and uh, and Cuba has a regular uh, fumigation process okay. throughout the streets, um, very similar to most South American countries. Right. So yeah. you're you're good to go, Steve yeah. Marshall with Cuba Ventures. Thank you so much for thank being you here very today. Much. Thank you. All right, and sharing that.